Alright guys, what we're looking at here is the mini splits running. Both of them's running upstairs and downstairs. And what we are seeing is 2.3 kilowatts. 42 amps is what it's drawing. And we are at 75% on the battery. And it's about 1.30 in the morning. Uh, I wanted to wait till it got dark, till it got late, so we could see uh, what it's doing where I can shut down, completely shut down everything. So the only thing that's on in my sub panel is the two mini splits. I wanted to see how much power they were consuming. You can see it ramping up right now, 2700 watts. I cranked it up about 3 degrees so I could um, make sure that they were running. So that's probably why you see them slowly ramping up. Because they don't come on like a regular central air unit where as soon as you turn it on it just pulls all the power. They are gradually build itself up. So I wanted to see what was the difference. So what I'm getting ready to do right now, I'm going to go shut off. But let's let's give it a little bit more time for it to build up and get to full power. Keep in mind, guys, this is a 18,000 watt, which is a... 18,000 BTU, which is a one and a half, I believe, uh, one and a half ton, and a 12,000 BTU, which is a one ton, and both of them is running right now. They're pulling 3,100 watts. I think that's about as high as it's going to go right there. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to shut off, let's shut the bigger one off and see what the smallest one is doing. Hold on a second. Okay guys, I shut the big one down. The small one is running now. It's pulling a thousand watts. I'm going to go back upstairs. I'm going to turn it back down to room temperature and then I'm going to turn the big one back on again and we're going to see how much power is using and I'm going to shut off the small unit which is running now. Hold on. Alright guys, what I did was I wanted to see before I turned the big unit back on what the power the small unit was using if I set the temperature back down to the room temperature to where it was holding it if the thermostat was set at 74 so I set it back to 74 and it's gradually falling back down so once it get the room to the temperature that you have it set for it only use 800 watts 840 watts to to keep that room at the temperature that you have it set and once it reaches that temperature it's pulling 15 amps Okay, let's go turn that one off. I turn the big one back on and I set the temperature back to 74 and we'll see what it does. Hold on. Okay, guys, I turned the big unit back on. I set the temperature back to 74 and 
it's going to take a little bit before it kicks back in again because the um, in heat pump mode when you first turn it on it takes a couple of minutes for it to run through its cycle before it actually comes back on so I'm going to put you on hold and we'll come back as soon as it start ramping up alright guys it's been about three minutes and it hasn't did anything yet I'm gonna go back up here and see if this if the fan or anything is blowing hold on a second okay guys I turned the thermostat up a couple of notches and it didn't came back on again but I don't think I'm getting true readings because I keep turning the thermostat up and when you turn the thermostat up it's going to boost the compressor. It's going to spin the compressor faster because it's going to make it think that the room needs heat. So the, the compressor is going to start running harder, which is going to give me false numbers. So I might have to do this test over again. But even with me bumping the thermostat up a couple of degrees, still only running at 1500 watts. So what I'm going to do now is start turning all the loads back on and we'll see what we end up with once the refrigerator and all of that stuff is back on again. And there it is, it's dropping down now, 1300 watts, 12, 12. well I'm, I'm going to let it run for about 5 minutes. And I'll come back. Hold on. Okay, guys, it's been running for about two or three minutes, and it didn't settle down to 680 watts, 12 amps. So let's go cut the, the downstairs one back on. Okay, I cut the one downstairs back on, but it takes a little bit for it to kick in. It got to run through its cycle, so it'll probably be a second. So what I'm going to do is put you on hold as soon as it start working again. I give it about another five minutes for it to come on and settle down like this one did, and then we'll get a reading and see what the, what the power is. Be right back. Okay guys, what we got is, it's ramping up right now. There it goes. We're at a thousand watts. It's just coming on. I thought I'd catch it when it came on. And then we'll see what it ramps back to. So both units is running. And I've, I I didn't tell y'all that the uh, 18,000 BTU unit is uh, 240 watts. And the 12,000 BTU is uh, 120 watts. So... The one that just came on is 120 watts. So both units is running. I set the temperatures back to 75 degrees. And so far it's only using a thousand watts. Eighteen point six amps. I'm gonna put you on pause. We're gonna let it run for about five minutes and we'll come back. Hold on. Okay, guys, what I'm going to do now, it actually went up 200 watts. Uh, there it goes. It's going up. One of them then kicked, kicked in. I don't know which one. must have been the one upstairs. must have kicked in a little bit. But what I'm getting ready to do is I'm going to start bringing the power back on on the rest of the house. And then we'll see. 
what the total is with the units running and the power, everything with the lights and everything in the house. Hold on. All right, guys, I kicked everything back on. And we're just at 1.7 kilowatts, 30 amps. The router's on for the internet. Alarm system is on. Camera system is on. Refrigerator's back on. Um, the outdoor lights is back on. Let me go turn the lights on here in the garage. Hold on. Went up to 1800 watts. Everything is running the downstairs, mini split, the upstairs, mini split. We don't have no TVs on, of course, because it's almost 2 o'clock in the morning. But, guys, this is what it looks like running the mini split. Two of them. I can, um, run these mini splits all night long and by the morning time we'll probably be at about 50 percent and uh, yeah that's where we at so guys if you wanted to know what the power usage was running a mini split now you know we'll do this again so we can see exactly maybe I didn't do it right next time what we'll do is I turn everything off while the units have been running and then we'll see what both units is running and then we'll shut down either the small unit or the big unit and then we'll deduct whatever power is left from what it was before we turned it on and that'll give us a reading on what the small unit is doing and what the big unit is doing. I think that would be more accurate than what I did by turning up the thermostat because turning up the thermostat what it does is is it ramps up the compressor to to 100 percent to try to get the temperature of the room up quick and as it gets the temperature of the room to the temperature that you set it starts slowing down the compressor and that's where you get the energy savings from like right then it then went down to 1.3 kilowatts, 24 amps. But guys, this has been 13 minutes. Let me get off of here. Thanks for watching if y'all got this far. Have a good one.